Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add tracked inventory products to your products and services section in Xero. So those are products in which Xero will let you track the quantity on hand. This lesson is part of a course, so if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then check out the links in the description below. Okay, so let's jump into Xero now and see how it's done. So just on our main screen here, if we scroll down, we can see we've got some t-shirts here that have quantities. So these are tracked items. And if we just click into one of them, what we get over on the side here is a summary of what's going on with this particular product. So you can see that we've got five of them on hand as the quantity. There's a total value there of $100. So the average cost of each t-shirt is $20. And then down the bottom here, it actually has a um, recent transaction summary as well. And there's only one transaction here, which is bringing in the opening balance um, of these shirts, which would have been um, theoretically when um, the zero account was actually opened. So maybe the, um, the demo company was previously in a different piece of software and they've copied it over to zero and they had uh, five as the opening quantity here. Um, of this t-shirt. So when we go through and do the rest of this exercise, you'll see more transactions appearing down here in the um, inventory item that we actually create. So let's go back to inventory. And what we'll do is we'll create another size of t-shirt. So I'll just go to new item. Okay, so I'll just fill in the item code. Okay, so it's going to be uh, TSSX black for an extra small black shirt and I'll just put in the name. Okay, so I've got t-shirt extra small black and I'll just hit tab. Okay, so that's copied down, which is great. All right, so now we will purchase this item because it is inventory. So I'll just put the purchase price in, which is $20. And then I'll put the purchaser's account in, which is cost of goods sold because we're actually um, tracking the inventory here, so we're not using purchases. All right, that's filled in the GST tax rate for us. Um, and then down in I sell this item, we'll just put the price in again, which is $40. And we can just put this one to sales. Okay, so there's the tax rate. All right, so now down the bottom, we need to tick this checkbox because we are going to track the item. And you can see this inventory asset account um, option has come up here. So we only have one inventory asset account in our chart of accounts, which is uh, 630 inventory. If you need to use a different account, um, then you can go ahead and create it um, and you can use that one. So obviously I'll just use that one. And then just down the bottom, there's just a little bit of important information as well. So this is saying um, that your items will be treated as tracked inventory. So zero will, will record the quantity on hand and prevent you from selling below a quantity of zero. So you can't sell more than you actually have um, in your stock at hand of any particular item. And you also need to take note that once you set this up as a tracked item, you can't actually change it. So you can't make it untracked um, later on. You'll have to actually create a whole new untracked inventory item. So if you're going to track your inventory, make sure you really want to because you can't undo it. All right, so let's click on save. And we can see what's happened is it's um, changed this to uh, cost of goods sold account. So we just need to come back here and select cost of goods sold again. So it changed that after we selected the inventory there. All right, so that's all fine. We'll just click on save. Okay, so now we have this item here. Right, and as you can see, we have no quantity on hand at the moment, but that's all set up. So I'll just go back to inventory. Okay, now we're actually going to buy some in and then we're going to sell some so we can see the quantity change. So I'll just duplicate the screen and we'll go and create a bill. All right, we'll go and find the item, which is that one. Okay, so that's pre-filled everything just like it normally does. You can see here that you can change a few things if you um, uh, put your cursor in the box there. Um, that's actually telling us that we've got none on hand when we choose quantity there. But the one thing that you can't do is you can't change 
the um, account there. So that's grayed out, I can't change that. So let's buy, say, 10 of them. So it's gonna be $200 in total. And then I'll just fill out the rest of this because we have to fill it out in order to approve it. Okay, so I've just put in um, a supplier there. It doesn't matter what you put in. And then just make sure you put in a due date as well. And then click on approve. Okay, and then we'll go back to products and services. And now when we go into it, all right, we can see now we've got a quantity on hand of 10. The average cost is $18.18, .18, which um, is the net of GST amount. So over here you can see it's 181.82 for uh, 10 shirts. And then down the bottom here in your recent transactions, you've got the bill and you've got the plus 10 as the quantity. Okay, so let's sell some now. I'll just go in and create an invoice and uh, we'll make that the 20th again. And we'll just pick that. All right, we'll just find the item here. All right, so let's sell five of them. And we'll just hit approve. Okay, so we've just sold five shirts through this invoice. And we'll come back here and I'll go back to inventory. Okay, and then just back into the shirt. All right, and now you can see we've got a quantity on hand of only five. So we purchased 10 and then we sold five through this invoice here. And you can see we've got the quantity up, here, up there and still the average cost and the total value there. Okay, so that's how your tracked inventory items work. So just keep in mind, you can't sell below the quantity on hand. So you can't now go and create an invoice for more than five items, unless you go and actually buy some more in first um, through a bill. Okay, so that's how you can add your tracked inventory items and you can buy them through bills and sell them through invoices and you can uh, check your quantity on hand um, in the products and services section.